it's Emilio from Death Films here, and um, we got a challenge from David, here's a picture of him, to sneak up in a hotel or some type of place to see how far we can go. I've seen all of these videos on YouTube and things, and that it seemed like a fun idea to try, and we're not trying to rip off or make some extra money or anything like that, it's just a fun thing to try out, because we always thought about it ourselves too. To try to do it ourselves, we decided to go to this place right behind me, up there in the mountain. Right now, we already are at our own like resort place, you could say, but it's a little bit different how it works. So our goal is to get it all the way up there with one of those rail cars, and then swim in one of the pools, enjoying the nice view they have up there. And third, to get some free food. Today, we're gonna do some scouting and see what we can find out, some extra information and what we need to have with us. Because usually these places have some type of headband you need to have, or they have some type of towel you always have with you or something in that sense. So we need to do some scouting and thankfully we can do that from the beach. Because it's right next to where, where we are, we can get in from the beach and see how it looks like. I did some research already on the internet to see what really is up there. So it seems to have, to have restaurants, they have pools and it seems to be an all-inclusive place. So we need to just get in and then we can enjoy all the free stuff they have. We're gonna do this with our own camera. It's kind of a big camera so hopefully it won't be looking too suspicious but we'll do it without the microphone and we'll see how it looks like when you're recording if you can notice if there's a light coming out of it or not so we'll see how good we can do this with a candid camera let's go Okay, so we did some scouting from afar because we didn't want to risk walking too far in and maybe revealing ourselves and maybe they'll recognize us tomorrow. So, because we don't have anything with us that can, you know, make us look like we're part of the hotel. So our first clue is that they all seem to have a light blue towel that they get from the hotel or something in that matter. Thankfully, we seem to have those type of towels in our own home too, or at least light blue, and they look similar. But then we came to the tricky part. There seems to be different types of armbands that they use. We found different type of collars. We are not sure really what what they all mean because we all, of course, want to have the best one to get our access everywhere. Because we were scouting and looking at what type of people went up to the gondola or the uh, the thing that goes up to the mountain, um, and they seem to have also different types of armbands, but most seem to be white and pink. Tonight we're gonna to go to the market, see if we can fake one of these armbands, hopefully a white one or anything like that, so that tomorrow when we go, we at least have something that looks like it, and if they don't look closely, we might get away with it. And then also, we will see how it works. So tomorrow is the big day when we walk in, and uh, hopefully we'll get in, get some free food. We went to the market, and we looked around, and they seemed to have a lot of different things we were thinking of. First. We thought, okay, maybe we should get those braided armbands, but no, because you wouldn't notice too much that it's made of strings and whatnot. We managed to find someone selling armbands that looked very similar to the ones they have, actually. With this very plasticky black, they have these things on, but you can easily just take them off. And then we found these pink ones, too, which are made of plastic, too, and look also the same type of material as the ones they have in the hotel. The only problem we have right now is that well, they had white ones too, but we're thinking maybe we don't want to risk because they have text on them. Use pure black ones because you can't notice if there's text or not. All right, so today's the game day. We have these, we have the pink bracelets. We decided not to go for the dark ones and just go for the pink because they look more legit. And uh, we noticed that the dark ones are a little bit thicker than the ones we bought. So just to be sure, we're just going for the pink ones just to see what happens. We've got the dark blue towels. So, uh, we only got one thing left to do. Look like tourists. All right, let's go. Let's do this. Thank you. 
Carlo. Buenas tardes. Hola. So uh, we managed to get up on the uh, gondola. Nobody noticed that thing, and uh, as long as you just act that, act like you belong there, so it's fine. Uh, they didn't even look at us anything. They just thought it was a normal day. So look at this view. I mean, you can't get that anywhere else. Now it's for phase two. Get one of the nice pools to swim in, and after that, maybe some food. Seem to be getting to like the private parts of the hotel, and we want to get to this, the public places of it. You know where there's like a lot of people and private, privately owned. So anyway, we seem to have hit a dead end on this part. So the only way to go now is to go down. So let's go. Nice. You have in your mouth. I call a post that it's for no motorista. So we found one of the pools, but we're gonna find a big and exclusive one, so we're not done yet. Down here, they have a mall. Let's see that. How much it was for one of the refreshments? Oh, uh, sorry, drinks? Yeah. Is that exclusive what you plan or is this a uh, black? Thank you. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah, thank you. Uh, later, we'll be back. Okay, so unfortunately, the snack bar, we just missed it. We just missed the snacks and the food, but the bar was open, so uh, I got myself a pretty decent pina colada. Uh, it seems to be a mi mission successful, and no one even noticed us. We just went right through everything. Uh, so yeah, I think it's a good way to finish it.